Hey everyone, Luis Fedoya, George Rutenberg Realty here in Foda Largo, Airbnb short term rental investments. This channel is meant to help you understand what it's like to buy a property in the state of Foda, especially in the area of Largo, which is right behind me. So I just wanted to go ahead and take a short walk with you. I got little Nina out here. She's a two year old dog. She's taking a piss in the neighbor's yard. But hey, all right. So I wanted to come out here and show you a little bit of this neighborhood. We've got a house under contract in this community. So let's go ahead and flip the camera and show you a little bit around. All right. So Largo is one of the many cities in the Pinellas County. Pinellas County is often confused with Tampa Bay. Tampa, city of Tampa is a city on its own. And then you have the Pinellas County, which is on the other side of the Tampa Bay area, right? But it just encompasses the entire bay from St. Pete up to Safety Harbor, Palm Harbor, I believe all the way up to Tarpon Springs. And then it goes again down to Tampa. So this is one of the areas that we like to look for Airbnbs. One of the reasons is because of their short-term rental regulations. They have positive regulations for short-term rentals as opposed to cities like Clearwater, Clearwater Beach, St. Petersburg, Seminole. And yes, you may find some Airbnbs that are in those areas. They might be either breaking a regulation or they are basically on an unincorporated area of that city, which again, creates a risk of eventually becoming incorporated and changing those regulations on you. All right, so just a view of this street is called Gladys Street, Vaughn Street. As you can see, to take a look at this home right here, let me do some zoom. All right, this type of property is a distress home 10 minutes away from the water. And then we have this corner right here where we have all of, all of this duplex communities this multi-family so let's go ahead and take a look at those real quick and at the same time we're walking towards that one house that is currently under contract with us at in adrian avenue which is that one right over there we're walking up to okay so <clears throat> let's go back to largo the city of largo has experienced a tremendous amount of growth Within the last 10, 15 years, we've seen a lot more new buildings come up, go up, and multi-million dollar neighborhoods form as well. At the same time, we still have some areas of Largo that have not developed, that are still just holding on to growth, I guess, if I would say it that way. Okay, so the house that we're going to look at is going to be down that street. But before we do that, I'd like to show you one of our Airbnbs that belonged to my mother. And I was one of her Airbnb managers before I got into real estate. And it's literally right up the street. Okay, so these are multi-families right there. You can see that. And then you have some single families right over here. So we got different Airbnbs in this community. They're pulling about $5,000 on each unit. Those are two bedroom, one bathroom duplexes. Okay. But they don't have access to any private pools or any extra amenities, which is one of the reasons why we stay away from them. And you can see a little bit of the type of traffic that we have in this area of the neighborhood. So let's go ahead and take a look at Adrian Avenue. I'm going to walk up there, pause the video real quick. <laughs> All right. So we made it to this intersection between Adrian Avenue and Gladys Street. And again, like I said, if you were to go in your car and take a drive around this community, you're going to find some houses that are in the $300,000, $400,000 range. And then you're going to find some homes that can go anywhere between the five to up, up to a million or multi-million dollar homes in certain specific areas of the Largo. 
city. So we, we try to stay somewhat close to those areas so that our comparables will work out. And again, there's a lot of variables on buying this type of investments, you know, whether you're looking at it from a perspective of appreciation and it's something that you really want to see an exponential growth in your price point, then we're looking potentially at getting some more land, which is the specific case that we have going on today here with Adrian Avenue. It's a bigger lot home. It's lot sitting in a, a home is sitting in a huge lot. And this community, once again, is five, 10 minutes away from the water and all those county beaches, such as Indian Rocks, Clearwater Beach, Indian Rocks Beach, Madeira Beach, Beller Beach, etc. So, again, more multifamilies. Some of these are also Section 8, um, low income communities. Okay. So, there's a little bit of everything. And right here, you got this massive home with a really nice fence. Which homes in this community are usually built between the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. It's not so common to find a newer home. However, in this area of Largo, in this community, because of the, you know, the growth catching up to it, we still have been able to find empty lots and vacant lots where people have been building newer homes. As you can see, this corner home right here, this is a newer home, as you can see, newer design. So we have to find out what year it was built. And I think if I'm not wrong, yes, right here, we got Adrian Avenue. That's the home that we got. We got on the contract. So let's just give it a little preview of the neighborhood, what it feels like. It's uh, Saturday, 9 a.m., 9, 10 a.m. Okay. All right. So definitely there is an, uh, an appeal factor to these two homes. Obviously this one, newer model, newer design, but look at Adrian Avenue. And I call it Adrian Avenue, it's 2952. It, this is a massive home in a massive lot. Okay, upgraded windows throughout, other than that garage window. You come into the house, got this entrance to the garage. I guess if you wanna see this house on your, my YouTube channel, Feel free to do so. It's going to be posted there. If you can find it, just let me know. I'll be happy to share that video with you. It's uh, labeled as a Airbnb home tour uh, property with a large lot. That's what it's called. And again, we're going to get access to this property in just a second. But I also believe, if I'm not correct, if I'm not wrong, that I can open this right here. So let me just... Yep. Yep or no? Okay, the other way around. Guys, take a look at this. Take a look at this space. And I don't know if it makes it, doesn't have justice to it, but I really, really like this, especially the dogs. Such a nice yard area. You know, and really good fence in this property. So that's the idea of taking photos of this home and being able to show the pool area and maybe setting up a field a soccer field uh you know a volleyball court anything anything that comes to your mind that you think you could do at a cheap price this would be an absolutely great space to do it all right so i hope you like this video and gives you an idea of what the neighborhood looks like feels like on a saturday morning the type of vibe that we get here in Florida. Like I said, it's 9 a.m. And we're wearing a little little bit of clothing right now. It's it's somewhere around 65 degrees. Winter's starting to, to, to come down on us and it feels fantastic. And this is one of the reasons why sometimes we also wanna have jacuzzis or you know heated areas in the house so that people can enjoy 
the weather as well. Okay, again, if you want to see that video of the house in there, let me know. If you have more questions about Largo, how it, this business works, feel free to reach out. And to my client that's on the contract with this house, I hope you really enjoy this this process. I know it's it's a lot of work. It can be a, a very tedious process, but definitely it's a huge payoff. And again, really excited for this for this particular property. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.